All right, so we're back here, uh, let's see, Sunday morning after we went to Arbondale Speedway last night and raced the uh, the Mod Mini last night, and uh, it's already got a bath outside, uh, got it all um, cleaned up, and got it back here in the shop, and uh, just want to do a short video. Um, had a good night last night, felt pretty good this morning. Um, the only thing that I really noticed when I was racing was the... Um, my left eye over here just it just water really bad after the after i got out of the race car it didn't do it during the during the, the racing or the the laps that i was turning but after i got out i just had tons of water almost like it was uh, my eye was uh like i was crying but anyway other than that it felt really good um no headaches no nothing like that but uh did have a lot of fun but um race car ran really good last night i was pretty satisfied with it uh i got a little bit of work to do but uh, mainly on the driving part of it, just because I just felt like I was too uh, um, sloppy with the driving. Does that sound right? So, um, and I think that'll just come back to me with just some laps and, and that kind of stuff. But I uh, had a great time and um, had a lot, of, a lot of guys come and um, support us. CJ and all his buddies are here. Just wanted to let you guys know what we're doing in the shop this morning. But uh, no, no working on the race car today. Um, we got Matt Lay and Cullen Lay over here. We are trying to finish up. We are almost finished, or they are almost finished with his mini quad. Um, they have a race next Saturday at uh, Punta Gorda for Florida Trail Riders. Uh, I'm not sure. This is his one he's been racing. That is a brand new quad. Every piece on it's brand new. So um, we are trying or helping try to finish that thing up. And uh, they were going to take it home today. And uh, Cullen may or may not ride it. But, um, but anyway, race car sitting, got it all cleaned up, and um, I don't see anything torn up, don't see any leaks. So the good thing about it is, is uh, uh, scale it, and uh, look at a few things. I'm uh, possibly going to change a few things on it, and, uh, and get it prepped for uh, 417, which is a 3 8 mile track down in Punta Gorda, which is you know, 45 minutes south of here, something like that that uh, we got this weekend, we're going to West Virginia to the GNCC banquet for Brandon with his quad racing stuff. And then the 18th, I think it's the 18th. Anyway, so following weekend, I will race my car again. So, uh, you know, pretty excited about it. I did buy the right front tire um, yesterday and it did help the car out, uh, but um, I got to do a little bit of motor work. The car just wouldn't, it just wouldn't run up out of the bottom. You know what I mean? But uh, anyway, we'll, We'll get to all that, but um, we got some more projects going on. This is uh, CJ and his buddies here. They've got this white truck in here. They're going to be swapping out a motor in it. Um, so uh, this is the motor here. So um, this is another, this is that RX-8 or whatever that is sitting over the other side of the shop there. They're going to do that motor too. So um, Jordan, uh, one of CJ's friends, uh, is in the Navy, and he is down for here for a whole month and uh he used to wrench and was a mechanic so uh they're gonna be doing all kinds of projects uh in the next month here at the shop here so uh that's what they're over there doing um brandon is at his girlfriend's in lakeland so uh just want to give you guys a shop tour and let you know what's going on on this sunday morning hey guys i want to just come to you today with uh another update of where we're at and uh today is uh let's see tuesday night after work uh, the last time that I videoed was on, you guys just got through watching Sunday morning when I got back from the races, when I raced a stock car. Uh, we had a lot going on here in the shop. Uh, there was a white truck here with the cab off of it with a couple engines sitting there. They have finished that thing. Um, that was a major project. And uh, they tackled it and got done with it. And uh, the guy is out driving it today, Mr. Curtis. So. Uh, anyway um that that is done and uh, the race car i have not touched it yet uh, i did wash and clean it and move it back in the shop here but it's not been touched yet um we've been busy uh this is my project this is a cart that i picked up this afternoon on the way home this is tomorrow's project on the the schedule that miss karen's got so i figured i'd go ahead and pick it up it's a customer cart brought it home i put a forward and reverse selector on it uh i'll show you here uh, these things, uh, what was happening was this, this particular car, this is what it looks like here. So this is where your lever goes back and forth. This is where your lever goes back and forth here. So what the customer was complaining about was, uh, sometimes that they would put it in reverse and it wouldn't go. They'd have to wiggle the, the selector. And, uh, so what happens is the contacts get worn out on that. But, uh, 
anyway uh this is brandon's project he's working on tonight um that's his car that he purchased and uh that's gonna be a flip for him so he's been working on that and uh he he was outside he's brandon is trying to put together his 2022 program and uh yeah he's still out there so and he's um actually he's over there I see him there but uh but no brandon has been trying to put together his 2022 program for his the can am renegade 4x4 pro class and that's one of the sponsors out there hopefully a partnership that's called him and uh, he's out there discussing some things with him but uh uh listen it's a lot of work um for what we do especially the level that that kid races at uh it's a lot of work and uh it takes a lot of time and effort and it also takes a lot of dollars and um we don't mind doing all that uh because this is the life that we chose but uh it, it is a lot of effort don't think that you sit home and uh you 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 wait on everything to happen it doesn't happen that way brandon had a very phenomenal uh year this past year and his phone's not ringing off the hook he's having to call people okay so i think sometimes people get that misconception where uh you do good in racing and uh maybe you're one of the guys they're looking at well they they don't just call you and uh the money's not flowing in it's not happening i promise you that uh brandon's still having to work his butt off and talk to people and uh and beg sometimes and um you know and just tell the customers or the uh the partner or the future partnerships of what uh you know what we're going to try to do to try to promote them and uh it's no different on this thing here uh although this thing here is at a lower level and uh you know at a local level obviously what we're doing with him is at a national level and um quite a bit more important obviously but uh but anyway it's no different than a race car so you know you know uh, it's no different than at an amateur level and or at the pro level uh still have to work your butt off uh the only thing difference is is when you start going really really fast things cost quite a bit more money you break a lot more stuff because you're going a lot faster things wear out a lot quicker so uh and you're quite a bit more serious about it so still a lot of work so uh but anyway that's that's what's happening here in the shop tuesday night we don't have anybody over here i just had a uh dennis hood one of my uh Longtime buddies, he races a sprint car. Uh, he was just over here, he had just left. Uh, just seeing what we was doing, seeing if we was working on the race car, and I told him no. Uh, unfortunately, I got these other projects going on. I'm gonna try to help Brandon get this car here all done so we can get this thing up to the cart shop and get it sold. And, um, but uh, no working on the race car tonight and or obviously the Can-Ams. The Can-Ams are still over there. Brandon and I discussed that today. Uh, we are, we'll be going to the awards banquet uh, this weekend, GNCC, uh, Saturday and uh saturday late night so and at that point i think i'm gonna get my race car out and get it on the setup plates and do the bump steer uh i have ordered valve springs i have valve springs coming so uh i'm excited about that and uh, i think they're going to be here before the next race at 417 so i want to get that done and then uh potentially we're going to go test uh at arbondale speedway so uh before the next race so anyway just excited about those things and you know those things to All right, come. as you can see brandon has come back in the shop here uh yep and i and i suspected uh brandon was out there talking to to a potential partner um so brandon i was telling the folks uh we're obviously out here working and such and uh i was just telling them how gncc and sponsorship and partnership and all that kind of stuff works it you know the phone yeah. just doesn't ring off the hook no for sure so it's a, it's a lot of work uh sponsorships i mean it's it's not like they're they want you their 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 product is already out there so you sort of got to lead your way into it and just talk to them i mean it's not easy i can guarantee you that yeah so 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 essentially i mean just because you've ran good and obviously you're you're considered a pro now um people are still i mean you know people don't want you to run their product for sure yeah. you know what i mean because obviously people look up it's to you on the podium yeah. it's just the little stuff but yeah but but it's still a lot of freaking work and and you know it's it's not completely paid for which we yeah. all understand that so um but 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 everything does help and it does. um all and, the little stuff helps all the the guys that are helping me for, for next year they're all very helpful guys and i'm 
thankful for working for them so yeah and then obviously the, the products that you're running you believe in yep and um, some of the best stuff that i think i could possibly run so yeah and then obviously you're going to promote them so yeah. um but right now is negotiation time and yeah. uh, i think all the contracts are pretty much due or, or they're they're already up by now and uh now basically what you're doing is now you're you're just talking to the partners and and um you know basically looking at contracts that they're sending back what they're offering you and that kind of stuff and uh but but it's a tough gig uh, it's it's uh you know they're, they're certainly not blowing the parts out to you no, uh so not that. uh but but every little bit helps and the, the most important thing for us is we just want to establish relationships with people yep. right and uh and help them make their products better and promote their products and uh and make it to where uh you know people would want to buy their products so uh, you raced a K&M Renegade, which is a is a heck of a machine, yep. and uh, and rough on equipment. It is for so, sure. So we so we break a lot of stuff just because they're so massive, and then of course Brandon going so fast. So, um, but anyway, I was just uh, wanting to catch up with you. So so you were speaking with one of your partners, uh, potential partners that could be for next season, and uh, we haven't finalized anything, and nor has Brandon sent back any contracts from what I understand. So anyway uh there, there, there's no big secret here it's just uh we're just trying to trying to see what uh, uh we can provide them is what the most important thing is it's not all about you getting free material it's not it's what you can do for them and then once you explain to them what you feel like you can do for them then uh, then they tell you what they can or how they can help you and uh it's a two-way street and uh fortunately for brandon and i we're not too big on social media yeah. uh you know we, we, we you know our little youtube channel and that kind of stuff but we, we don't know how to do a lot of that kind of stuff but we need to get better because it seems to me that uh you know social media is really big and obviously they they want you to promote their like the social media and yes the, the promoting and all that kind of stuff yeah so uh so we do we do have to get better at doing that and uh but anyway um we'll continue working and uh brandon's going to continue talking uh to some people but it's exciting brandon yeah you know what yeah. i mean so so basically trying to put together uh, you know your 2022 season and uh i was just i was just telling the folks here that uh we got to get back out to those k&ms for too long i'm here you know we, we said we were going to take off until the first of the year and uh and still may do that we it's, got banquet it's about time to start getting stuff prepared for the beginning of the year because right now we have about two fullers that are sitting right now that need stuff so we got to get back after it, get them rolling, so we can obviously start practicing, getting prepared for round one. And we got the GNCC banquet this weekend in West Virginia. It is this so, weekend. So that's this weekend. I and know then, GNCC just put out an update. It's only 75 days away to round one. So <laughs> yeah, that's it's, coming, it's coming quick. That's right. So it doesn't take long. And then, of course, we got some of our local racing that we could go do, too. And uh, that we probably will be doing. Yep. Uh, don't know how serious we'll be about that, but... Uh, but we will be doing some of the local racing, especially with Kyla. Uh, Kyla's Brandon's girlfriend. She will be doing most of the DFTRs. Uh, but we we were, are going to be focusing mainly on the GNCC program this year for Brandon. And uh, that is our 100% goal. And uh, with that, it takes a lot of work. But anyway, I was just telling them that uh, we got that this weekend. We're working one more week, and we are actually closing the shop. Our boss. I got a school to do. Brandon's got a yeah, that's right. Brandon and Trey Warner has a, I got a riding uh, class I got to do. Got a riding class to do when? That's next weekend, next? 18th. Yeah, so we got the banquet this weekend and then the riding class the next weekend. Right. So you got that, and then Christmas the following weekend. Yeah. And then we got New Year's the following week. Yeah. And then then and we got then, an FTR yeah, race. So yeah, it. Uh, so anyway, it uh, it all it all happens pretty quick. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much laid out our, our, our week. So uh, the, the vacation's about over, and uh, we got to get back after. We got to build a complete K and M Renegade uh, get it for, ready for round one. Round one, which is 75 days, and uh, we have purchased and got most of the parts. Don't you agree? I think Brandon? we have everything. Yeah. Obviously, there might be a few little things, but I believe everything we can do to put it back together. And depends on the partners. Yep. we may end up having to get some other items and, yep. and parts and pieces but uh for the most part uh uh we, we have figured that that's what we're going to do we're going to take that 2018 that you guys have been seeing in here and uh we are refurbishing it to a a, a brand new uh you know a brand oh, new frame stuff. yep 
geometry, oh. the shocks, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, so, so we're upgrading that one. So that'll be the race race bike for Brandon, a race quad for Brandon in 2022. And then um, we'll use these other ones to practice and, and that kind of stuff, which uh, it, it's not like you're leaving a lot of time for us to practice. Sure. Uh, so, but anyway, we're, we're, we're going to, we're going to slow to get off. All right, thanks, Brian. I just wanted to catch up with you because I was telling the folks, you know, about you being out there. But, uh, but anyway, yeah, that, you know, it's a uh, it's a tough gig. You know, what I mean, it's a tough gig, and uh, we wouldn't have it any other way because we, we love what we do and we love racing. And and um, obviously now with my race car out, it, it that adds a whole nother element uh, uh, to it. But uh, there again, uh, when Brandon starts racing, and end of February, um, obviously uh, the race car uh, is not as important at that point so but anyway um as always guys just wanted to give you a short video of where we're at what we're doing here in the shop uh not a lot of atv stuff going on here as you can see a lot of golf cart stuff uh truck stuff a little bit of race cars so um we're going to get back after it and uh just wanted to give, give you give you guys an update of where we're at and how things operate and um, um gncc is a wonderful series and uh and uh, we enjoy it so much and brandon's did it pretty much all ever since he was about six years old so uh so it's a big part of our lives and uh, we want to continue doing that and uh he has finally reached the level where uh it's pretty serious and uh with that being said um comes a lot of work and um uh, brandon is an adult now so he gets to he gets to make his own way and uh, that's on him me and his mom will support him 100 percent and uh, as long as he wants to do this because we really believe in the sport sports a really good sport to be involved in family time and and um, humble most of the kids are uh, are all humble and uh, just good folks and uh, and we don't mind spending the money to be associated with that kind of group but um listen guys I want to tell you as always uh, like comment and share on our videos I'll tell you what I'd like for you guys to do tell me where you're watching from uh, leave in the comments down below of where you guys are watching from. We'd like to know. We're in Central Florida is where we're at. Um, weather's beautiful down here. And uh, I'd like to know where most of my, my viewers are, are coming from. And, uh, and what you guys are wrenching on. Just give me an idea about what's going on. But uh, as always, guys, I want to thank you guys for supporting our channel and uh, watching what we do. Until next time, I'll see you.